When I first started in we said, okay, you know, I decided to do this kindergarten because one of my staff has a daughter and she wants to have a good education for her daughter. So I said, okay, fine, let's open a kindergarten. In Mafi's education, a chain of English merging kindergartens in Beijing, students are forbidden to speak Chinese after they enter the gate. Even their Chinese names are off limits. Instead, being replaced by an English alternative, I went along to the school to meet the founder Zhang Kun and some of his international teachers to find out why a growing number of Chinese parents are choosing to send their children to English-only kindergartens. I, we like to think we're better, but I guess I'm sure there's a lot of other、uh, good kindergartens out there also. But what we try to do is actually really concentrate on the education part of the pro,、uh, on the program. Because like the at the end of the day, people can say a lot of things, but then if you have good teachers teaching the children and children are learning, that that will just basically the parents can really feel that themselves.、Um, we teach、uh, reading, writing, maths, science, art and design,、um, but we we classify them as word smart and logic smart, body smart, design smart, so we can kind of incorporate all different aspects of learning into those different things. We do, you know, we do a lot of learning here, but we also have a lot of fun, and I think、um, the teachers here plan really good activities that keep the kids engaged and that help the kids learn but have fun at the same time.、Um, like today,、um, we're going to do a writing a writing project about our eyes and what we can see, but we've taken an eyeball, or like we've drawn an eyeball, and they're going to write four or five sentences about what they can see. But then they're also going to glue on eyelashes and put it on very cool paper, and it just makes it more fun to write. It makes writing more fun. The, the classrooms、uh, where the children have been there for a considerable amount of time are of full immersion, so there is very little, if any, Chinese in the classroom now. Maybe the occasional word that that needs translating. If if we come across a word in a book that that we don't understand or that we can't describe around, so that the children understand, then we'll have the occasional word. Translated from our system, but in general, all in English now. Nowadays, as you know, the Chinese parents are much more knowledgeable. They will travel, and I think, the, and they do realize that allowing the children to learn English in the young age is good for them because they, you know, we are English immersion, but yet. Because we encourage the parents at home to speak Chinese, so the parents are getting the, no, the child is getting a bilingual environment, and knowing the two languages is definitely、uh, healthy for the child's de-、uh, brain development.、Um, my Chinese is 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 coming along. I've been here for for nearly a year now, so still learning, still trying, but <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> Part of my job is to、uh, interact with the Chinese parents, and usually. If there's problems, they come see me. Or once in a while, they come see me if it's good things. But usually, they're problems. But I would say most of our parents are all upper middle class. Parents are very、um, encouraging with their with their children. They're always eager to know what they can do at home and how they can how they can better their their child's education by kind of helping them at home. And I think that's really important for parents to have. To have that close relationship with the teachers to make sure that the learning carries on into the home and not stops when the child leaves the school gates.、Um, also, I send home a daily, or a, I'm sorry, a weekly newsletter. It kind of tells the parents what we covered that week.、Um, helps keep them involved in what's going on in the classroom, what to look forward to in the classroom, so they can help support their kids learning at home. We also this year are starting magazines, which are pretty cool. Um, we'll send them home every season, so we'll send、uh, four home a year, and that will help keep the parents engaged in what's going on in the classroom. Give them an idea of the songs we're learning, the books we're reading,、uh, maybe what they can be working on with their kids, all sorts of things like that. Just like Murphy's education, a large number of English and bilingual kindergartens have witnessed sharp increases in teens' enrollment in recent years. The tuition fees are generally several times higher than public or ordinary private kindergartens. 
No official data is available to show the potential of the market so far, but experts estimate that the market is huge and will expanding in the following years. Growth that a child has in a year in a in a fully immersive kindergarten is is massive. They can they can start coming here with with no letter writing skills, with with very little verbal communication, and then being able to to speak full sentences and to write full sentences and to be able to communicate their their basic needs and more than their basic needs in English. It's it's awesome. It's awesome.、Uh, I love coming to school every day. This is Hena in Beijing for China Daily.